Was I cheating on you? Maybe. I don't know how this keeps happening. Do I just suck? No! Am I just like, oh, oh. suck ball, McGee? You're just a work in progress, babe. Oh. How'd you do that? It's a lot of condoms. There's violence, but they make it funny in the film. And you know, the tone is very unique and interesting. And it does remind me a bit of how Tarantino can make sort of these like fantastical stories where there's tons of blood or gore, but it's you still want to watch it, you know? And, and also that there's comedy, there's romance, there's sort of something for everyone in, in the film. Are you kidding me right now? What? I used to make breakfast for you all the time. Yeah, in a microwave. That guy last night, he seemed really like fancy homeless. Oh my God, I just realized I don't know his name. Who, Mr. Wright? She's just recently been cheated on by her boyfriend and she finally thinks she met Mr. Wright. And I'm her best friend that she comes to stay with in New Orleans. And um, she comes home one day and is like, I met this guy, he's amazing, but she doesn't even know his name. And so then I'm sort of like, oh, Mr. Wright. And it ends up he's an assassin. Why, do you think he's evil? What if he is? You know, when I was little, I had this fantasy that I was dating Lex Luthor. From Superman? Wasn't he like a genius? Your eyes more like a sexy rain man or something. Thank you. But you know what? I don't really think this is about him. I think you're just in an unstable time and maybe you're just latching on to this guy because, you know, the first guy you meet. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm in love with him. Is that stupid? Yes.